Openula is an open source Linux distribution developed by the OpenAtom Foundation. They have a new release which is Openula 24.09. This is Ankush from its first and here I am going to tell you a little more about Openula 24.09. OpenEula is a versatile Linux distribution which can run on your workstation PC or can be deployed in a server, edge computing, cloud and embedded devices. It supports various architectures including x86, RISC-V and more. Let's see what the new version offers. To start with, you get three different ISO options to download. One is a complete ISO which is about 22 GB with every type of tool included. The other one is a standard ISO, which is 4 GB, which is what I tried. And the other one is a network installation ISO, which just spans less than 1 GB. Note that this is not an LTS version. We tried the LTS version a while back on our channel. Before moving further, let me thank the sponsor of this video, AnyRun. AnyRun provides interactive malware analysis and threat intelligence services trusted by over 500,000 security professionals worldwide. With real-time interactivity, AnyRun's sandbox lets you safely analyze and engage with threats as if they were on your own computer. Click links, open files, and get a live view of all malicious network and system activities. Plus, AnyRun's Threat Intelligence Lookup helps you find specific threats and enrich existing indicators by searching a vast database of over 40 different types of threat data, from IP addresses and URLs to malware mutexes and registry modifications. No setup costs, no extra hardware, just fast, efficient and secure tools. Try AnyRun today and take full control of your threat investigations. I tried this distribution on a VM and my experience was pretty good. First, the installation process was smooth and straightforward. It utilizes the Anaconda installer, which is often seen with Fedora. So you can easily click on the options that you need and set it up. You don't get the latest web UI though. So it's the traditional installer. During the installation, you get the ability to select software packages for your exact use case, whether it is for container management, security, or anything else. You will find a selection for everything. You can just click on that and those tools will be installed once the installation is complete. And when it is complete, unfortunately, you do not get a desktop environment. I hope they change this if they want more people to install it on their workstation, but you can install it right after it using a couple of commands. We already have a tutorial regarding that and you can see that here too. Either way, you can refer to OpenEula's documentation to install the preferred desktop environment that you like. I went with the UK UI, which is easy to install and looked pretty. It just took a couple of commands like I mentioned, and then I rebooted the system and I got the graphical user interface. I logged in using the user account credentials and voila. Of course, the utilities pre-installed will vary depending on the desktop environment you choose UKUI looks somewhat similar to Deepin and I've got the essentials like Firefox web browser, a video player, a weather app, music player and more. I also see packages like Qt4 because of what I selected in the software selection menu. There's a nifty application launcher to quickly access apps. The Mate terminal should give you a familiar terminal experience and under the hood, the distribution utilizes the TNF package manager so you can install update your system just like you do on a Fedora system. You can only find the new EPKG package manager with the Arch64 architecture ISO. So I couldn't test that here. With OpenEula 24.09, there are some new command line tools like UTShell, UTSudo to help you enhance security. Also, a bunch of developer-focused improvements like better support for AI model images, integration of CubeEdge, and more. What do you think about OpenEula? Is it a worthy alternative to the likes of Red Hat? Let me know in the comments down below.